In order for your VK401 to remain functional, the reactor chambers must be replaced every 8,000 hours. After this time, your unit will indicate that the modules must be changed by showing dash 001 on the display. As you are accessing inside your VK401, it is important to switch off and unplug the unit before proceeding. Firstly, you need to remove the 12 screws at the back of the unit. Then place your VK401 on its back and carefully lift open the front of the unit, making sure that no wires are damaged or disconnected as you lift. On the circuit board you will see a black and white cable that is linked to the two reactor chambers. This needs to be unplugged. Next, remove the four corner screws out of both of the chamber mountings being careful to ensure that the earth wire close to the switchboard is detached and remains intact. After this, you can remove and dispose of the old reactor chambers and replace with the new chambers which are already linked together. Then, return the four screws to the corners of each chamber, ensuring that the earth wire is reconnected to the screw closest to the circuit board. And then, Connect the new reactor cable to the circuit board. Next, close the unit carefully, making sure no wires are trapped or damaged. The 12 screws must now be returned to the back of the unit. You can now switch your VK401 back on. Then press and hold the down button for 14 seconds to reset the warning timer. Now your VK401 is ready for the next 8,000 hours.